my lovely, lovely, lovely buzzers. How are you? This is your girl, Queen B. Yeah, yo. And all who wants to say my voice is so annoying. Yes, my voice is so annoying. Why are vice annoying? Tell me now, all the Are vice annoying? Take it to God. Yeah, take it to God. I don't me create myself. So if you have a problem with my voice, you take it to God. Until then, this is your girl, Queen B. Anyway, guys, enough of that foolishness. Listen, of course, you know, I'm on my way home from work, as usual. And I kind of just want to vibe with you a little bit. I know this should be on my Vibing with Queen B page. But I don't know go over there. Mm -hmm. I don't know go over there, right? Vibing with Queen B. I don't know go over there. If you have not subscribed as yet, please go over to Vibing with Queen B. So whenever I want to just vibe with you guys, I could just post it over there. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But anyway, you know, I wanted to talk about something that I, I, I've been kind of noticing on social media. And I've talked about it, you know, previously before, but I want to go over it again. Um, you know, one of the reasons why sometimes I tell you guys that's on social media that follows certain platforms, especially platforms that consistently and constantly just, their program is just about all about bashing people. That's it. It's not about education. It's not about elevating it's not about, you know, enlightening anybody about anything positive. It's just strictly, strictly for bashing and bashing and disrespect only, right? I noticed that most majority of the time, except for one platform, which we already know about that platform already, right? Because that platform carries a diverse of people. And majority and 98% of it is usually positive vibes going out. So we already, we're not, we're going to exclude that big, huge platform, right? We're not talking about that platform. I'm talking about the regular, you know, um, Joe Blow platforms that don't have such a massive following. Their platform seems to be based and built on just negativity and negativity only. Like, they're totally dedicated to just destroy as many lives as they possibly can with either their lies or their exaggerations or just plain simple in the form of, say, trying to entertain the crowd, right? And I noticed that majority of followers or the majority of people on social media are even in our own diaspora. That's all they want to see. You know, that's all they want to hear. That's where you find them always packed up where to the point they're like sardines. Like, you know, they kind of have to be pushing people out of the way just to get a, a, a front seat to all this negative nonsense. And the majority of it, right, is females. At least that's the one that we, we see because they're the ones in the comment section. Um, we don't see the ones that don't comment, silent listeners. So we don't know if majority of that views or whatever is made up of, you know, equal amount of men. You know, and the way the world is going nowadays with some of these men it wouldn't be surprising, you know, that they find that type of content um, intriguing enough to sit there for two and three and four and five and six and seven and eight and nine and ten hours just listening to someone completely destroying somebody's reputation, completely destroying somebody's, um, you know, self-esteem or, or whatever it is, right? And it's just amazing to me. But another thing that I wanted to really kind of, um, you know, speak on is I also noticed that if a platform holder is rooting for you, they all join hands and root for you, right? If a platform holder is bigging you up, they would big you up too, right? 
we love you so and so, we love you so and so, and then guan and then guan, oh yeah, we love so and so. But the minute the platform holder and that person falls out, all of a sudden everybody in the comment section is typing up, oh, me never like them from long time. Oh, me never trust them from long time. Oh, a long time me not like a person they know. Oh, me them move them BC clot. Oh, this. Oh, that. And they, they just have the most negative thing to say about that person. And you be scratching your head and you be like, huh? You know, like, wasn't it just yesterday? You know, you were saying how much you love the person and bigging up the person and giving them all kind of kudos that we love you and we miss you. So what happened today? Instead of them being in the comment section, if they truly, truly, and we see it happen every day on social media. So we're not going to sit around and act as if it's not the gospel truth at this point that I'm speaking on. Because we see it happen every single day on social media. Once the platform holder likes you, everybody likes you. And if the platform holder don't like you, then all of a sudden you're the biggest enemy in the world. They never like you from a long time. They never trust you from a long time. A long time you should not get rid of that person. They, and they just go on with the most. They are nothing but a bunch of puppets. Yes. Queen be saved. Nofa Uno is nothing but a bunch of puppets with the platform holder holding the string and moving you any which way they want you to go. That's where you go. Uno no shame. Eh? Uno no shame. And you guys, most of you guys that's doing that is really and truly grown ass people you guys are grown ass people some of you call yourself educated some of you call yourself college you know graduates grandmothers mothers and you guys stay on social media and act as if you guys have no god darn sense and don't know how to pick sense out of nonsense you just sit there and you look at it as a form of entertainment and you, you, you just cheer them on yeah go 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 cuss them out dun them out yes yes cast time him long time he should have got I, I mean <laughs> you guys are you, you, you guys I'm telling you the way you look to the world or even look to the other, you know, Caribbean diaspora, y'all look like a bunch of idiots. You guys represent Jamaica in a horrible way. Horrible way. And the one person that's on social media that represent, you know, our Caribbean island in somewhat up up positive nature because no one is perfect in a more positive nature more than everyone else that I see on social media that's the one you guys seem to hate the most that's the one you guys seem to despise the most go against the most try to tear down the most I don't get it I really don't get it. And I cannot try to figure it out anymore because I, I can't figure it out. I, I can't. Social media has become more than just the devil's playground. Social media has become a death trap. It has become a form of demonic force that's really just set you up for you to lose your soul to become evil and wicked and bad mind and just aggressive like I've watched certain individuals 
that started out as a calm natured person or started out as you know somewhat of a a loving person or started out as a kind hearted person and you know I, I I've watched social media break them to the point where they have become so bitter 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 and and hateful and spiteful and I mean, how, how, how you allow social media to do that to you? At what point did you realize that it was eating you alive? It was destroying who you were as a person. It was destroying your walk with God. It was destroying your faith in men. It was destroying your faith in people. It was destroying your trust that you have in people. At what point did you realize how bad it was getting and just say to yourself, you know what? Enough is enough is enough is enough and it's not worth my soul. It's not worth my peace of mind. It's not worth my true happiness. Like at what point should you ever recognize that and say, you know what? I need to step back a little bit. I need to step away a little bit. I need to get myself together. I need to get closer back to God. I need to get my mind right. I need to get my soul right. I need to get right with the people around me. Because if I allow social media to destroy me the way it appears to be destroying certain individuals, then we are all a lost soul. Because if it could happen to them, it could happen to us if we allow it. People, no one on social media is your friend. No one is loyal to nobody on social media. Nobody is out here on this social media platform that I currently observe is here to watch you rise and build and become successful or be happy. They're all about tearing down and making sure that if they can't make it there and if they can't reach it there or they can't become successful, you should not become successful either. At what point do you pull away? At what point do you try to save your dignity and your sanity? And at what point you try to save your, the little bit of spirituality that you have left in you. That you don't become so bitter and evil and bad mind. At what point? Guys, the only thing that I could tell you with Queen B, I know when to step back. I know when to stop the nonsense. I know when to retreat within myself and catch myself and get myself closer back into my spiritual realm. I know when to step back so I don't become bitter and hateful. I know when to step back and say, you know what? This is wrong and I should not be doing this. I know when to do that. And because of that, I have survived mentally spiritually and emotionally ain't nobody on social media can break my stride i don't care what they say about me all you will ever see queen b do is put up a bunch of laughy faces you know why because that is exactly what it is to me a big joke and a big circus and nothing they say or do can define who i am as a person and because i know that it's no need for me to take offense and there's no need for me to always come out and answer. All right? All right. Anyway, guys, that's all I came out to say real quick. Queen B, love you for free. Have a wonderful evening, night, morning, afternoon, any part of the world you're in today. And just know that Queen B is here to stay. All right, all right, have a good night.